Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are adding a Raspberry Pi camera to the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Let's get started. Let's open up our camera. It's a Raspberry Pi camera module version two. Take her out of the box. Here we have our camera, little ribbon cable. You can see the connectors here on the back side. This looks like a little lens type of thing. Not quite sure what it does. Put that aside for the moment. Let's put it on our Jetson. This part might be a little difficult to see. Here's the camera connector. There's a piece of plastic that captures the ribbon cable. Let's lift that up. We can pry that up with our nail here. The contacts go towards the Jetson module. Let's insert the cable. And now we press down on both sides to capture it. And we should be good to go. So it should look something like that when you're done. There's a plastic film over the lens. And here's a pro tip. I have found that you will get better images if you remove the plastic protective film from the lens. Don't ask me how I know that. There are various methods of actually mounting this camera. There are four holes to mount the camera. So it kind of depends on your application on how or where you want to mount it. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use some double-sided tape on this connector and then put it on a little microphone stand. Now we're ready to test it out. Let's take it over to the desk, plug the Jetson in and switch over to the screencast. Okay, we hooked up the Nano and now we're ready to do a little screencasting. Let's open up Cheese. I have a webcam attached to the Nano and now we're ready to test out our Raspberry Pi camera. The Raspberry Pi camera is probably the most requested feature on the Jetson development kits, and now we have one. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named CSI Camera. Let's clone the repository. Git clone. Paste that in. And let's switch over to that repository's directory. The first thing that we want to do is test out our camera. The Jetson Nano uses GStreamer to interface with cameras. So here's the command line. It's rather ugly. And there's our camera. So this is from the Raspberry Pi camera. GST launch. Let's go over a little bit of what happened here. When GStreamer starts up, we can see that there are several sensor modes available on the Raspberry Pi camera. 3280 by 2464 at 21 frames per second, all the way down to 1280 by 720 at 120 frames per second. What we requested from GStreamer was to give us the mode 3820 by 2464 with the frame rate 21 and display that in a window 960 by 616. And that's what it did. So that's good. Control C to close the window. In the notes section, we have the camera image formats for the Raspberry Pi version two camera. So you can look them up, it tells you how to get them from a command line utility. And here's a GStreamer parameter. This allows you to flip the image so that if you mount the camera upside down, for example, in a robot, you can flip it around accordingly. We have some code here that we can use to interface with the camera. We have two simple camera routines. One is written in Python as an example, and the other is written in C++. 
Let's take a look at the Python version. Ooh, that's big. I don't know which camera to look into. <laughs> oh well. Let's take a look at the code. So basically we have a little routine that will build our GStreamer pipeline for us. We give it a capture width and a capture height and then a window width and height frame rate. And we have this little flip method here that allows you to take the image and flip it around if you need to. Very simple application. We create a video capture object, create a window, we read from the camera, and then we show it on the window. We can escape to close the window. Let's take a look at the C++ version. We need to compile it. Surprisingly, it works too. Let's take a look at the code. This is pretty much the same deal. We have a routine here to create our GStreamer pipeline. It is configurable with the same parameters. Here we create the pipeline. We create a video capture object. We create a window. And then we read from the camera and then show to the window using OpenCV a different dialect of computer talk. Let's close out of this, hit escape again. And now we have one more OpenCV demo. It's written in Python. It's a little more complicated. It's called face detect. You can see that it's trying to detect my face with the blue line, that's the outline there. And then green, it's trying to detect eyes, but you can see that it has some issues with that. Okay, so let's try some disguises. Put on my baseball cap. That time of year. You can see it recognizes my face okay. Let's try some sunglasses. So that appears to confuse it a little bit. And we can also look at magazines and things like that and see the peoples. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.